In this work, we are going to explain the spectral correlation of electro-optical frequency techniques in perovskite solar cells beyond the impedance spectroscopy, because we are going to consider simultaneously different uh, light modulated techniques like uh, IMPs, IMBs, in combination with impedance spectroscopy. This work uh, has been done as a cooperation of uh, the Institute of Advanced Materials and uh, Swansea University, with special thanks to Angustin Bow and Adam Pocket, that had a protagonist role in the work. And uh, a paper related to this presentation is published in the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters. There is a basic equivalent circuit for perovskite solar cells regarding the two arc spectra and it has a geometric capacitance, a low frequency capacitance, and then two resistances in series and parallel. And this accounts for the high frequency plateau related to the electric relaxation of the perovskite and the low frequency large capacitance. By having an equivalent circuit, we can apply a alternate voltage and obtain the response of impedance spectroscopy, in this case two arcs, and also apply a current generator. Uh, and from this, we can obtain the response of IMPs with transfer function Q and IMVs with transfer function W. However, impedance spectroscopy spectra of metalite perovskite show different features like the negative capacitance, shows an inductive loop, or more than two, three arcs. So these features cannot be described by this uh, simple circuit with two capacitances, it needs more. This problem has been analyzed previously in a work by Sandeep Ravishankar and Clara Aranda in our lab with uh, lead bromide perovskite solar cells in which it was shown that IMP shows three features, while impedance spectroscopy shows only two features in the spectra. So that the equivalent circuit is more complex with an additional RC line, but the time constants related to this new line overlap, so that you can see only two arcs in the spectra. But in reality, it has three. In cooperation with Swansea, we decided to study the carbon cell initially discovered by my friend Hong Wei Song because this is quite stable and can be varied the thickness so that this is very good for analyzing the impedance response where as we need reproducibility and stability. Then we made uh, the three measurements, impedance spectroscopy, IMPs, IMBs, in the same condition for the three thickness of cells so that we, since they are in the same condition, they must respond to a single equivalent circuit and we must resolve uh, futures de describing all the techniques at the same time. To describe the negative capacitance and inductive loops, we are going to use a previously developed surface polarization model in which the ion dynamics is uh, very slow and retards the operation of the voltage with a relaxation equation and this quantitatively provides an equivalent circuit that was shown useful to obtain physical parameters. The impedance model associated to the surface polarization model has been recently used by Fran Fabregat Santiago and his co-workers in a paper published in the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters to describe the inverted hysteresis and the connection to the negative capacitance and also finding the kinetic time constant of the model and related to surface polarization governed by ionic processes. Therefore, we take the model with the three branches and we add the uh, sub-circuit that describes the inductive elements and arrive at a new generalized equivalent circuit that should capture all the figures that we have observed in the complex spectra of the carbon cell. Then this model is very successful to fit all the complex spectra and then provide the uh, different elements uh, in the equivalent circuit and also describe the different plateaus of capacitance. 
so that we can track the different elements and attribute uh, what elements are interfacial and what is not interfacial according to the thickness dependence and also find the evolution of the resistances. Some years back, it was shown by Luca Bertolucci very generally that for uh, measurements that are done on the same condition, the three transfer function must hold this identity where Q equals W divided by Z. Now, here we can check this one and compare the measured Q of IMPs with the uh, calculated Q. And we see that in this case, uh, there are very close match between the calculated and uh, the real measurement. So that the correlation uh, between the three methods is shown and reinforces the interpretation that we have provided. So we have measured the three uh, correlated uh, spectral techniques uh, derived a single equivalent circuit that can describe them all, and we can obtain a description uh, of the features starting from the same parameters and give meaning to these parameters. And I thank you for your attention, and I want to thank my colleagues and the funding agencies.